Okay, here we are on a Monday night. The 21st, I believe. I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, it's little. It's not quite dark yet, so I don't think we need the lights. Alright guys. And I just want to show that the bench is painted. And we have an orangey color. It's a brown orange. But anyway, um, I might... <laughs> I might change the color to black, black and orange. All right. Yes, buddy. Where's my kiss? No kisses. Thank you. Come here. Come here, Grabby. Oh, she don't like. Uh, You've been up here all night. She ate all the dry food. Yeah. She ate all the dry food. Yeah. Got it? Okay. There's Woody over here. She's eating hot dogs. There you go, rascal. There you go, girl. Stand up. There you go. It's early tonight. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. There'll be more later. I didn't. I couldn't stay up. Wait for the babies last night because I had to get up at five o'clock in the morning. I stayed up till one, and then that was it. Hey, Woody, you go back. There you go. You let him have that. Here, look. You go get that. Go get it. Never mind him. You go get the hot dog. <laughs> she. She's guarding that door. Never mind him. Let him come out. Go get your hot dog. You want dry food. You ate all the dry food. You ate every bit of it. Yes, you did. I'll have to throw them down on the ground for him. There. He's not gonna be able. To, he's not gonna be able to get any. She won't move. Hey, well. There you go. Come here. Stand up. There you go. You ready? Scooter's not here. Oh, well, they'll be around later. Too bad I can't have him come up here. But she ate all that dry food that there and probably half of this stuff. Come here. Come oh, on, Woody. He's in the road, isn't he? Here. Is he in the road? Yeah. You stand up. Crabby. Oh, you were named right. You're a crabby girl, aren't you? Huh? Well, hopefully I'll uh, see babies tonight. But you're looking at 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning. What happens is these fellas, they probably all get babies. The babies are home sleeping, so they, they run in here and have time to eat. Yeah. They come and have something to eat. You want another one? 
You get it? This fellow don't want. He's just eating dry food. Here, buddy, come here. There you go. I'm going to put the lights on. <clears throat> we'll put the lights on. And that one on, we hit this button here. There we go. A little better. Yeah. I just want to mention that uh, some people are sending mail for me to Stellarton, and they're getting the address when they go 411 Canada, looking for my phone number. And what it has is my old phone number, because I have it changed now. And they have me listed as Stellarton, Nova Scotia. I haven't lived in Stellarton in 22 years, so they have no record of me there. So, if you send uh, the thing with the host code BOK1SO, that's going to be rejected and you're going to get your mail back. And that's parcels and everything else. So. Uh, I just thought I'd warn you before you uh, mail something to me, if you mail it to Stellarton, Nova Scotia, it will not come here. Uh, they got signs posted everywhere about that, so anyway, they uh, they were letting me have some stuff that they, they had to put a stop to it. And I got a parcel today, and it, it was wrote on it, Try Stellarton. And my mail lady heard heard it and she hollered out, she said, that's me, she said. So she she intercepted it and brought it out. But that was lucky that she just happened to be there. So if you send anything to Stellarton, Nova Scotia, it will not come here. I do not live in Stellarton. I live in Churchville. So and we gotta slow down on the teacher the t shirts people. Uh, uh, I got too many. I got 60 some there now, and I can't wear 60 t-shirts. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, any more new t-shirts that come, I'm going to give them to the Salvation Army, if you don't mind, because they could use it better than than I. I got 60 some there, and I I can't wear 60 t-shirts. So anyway. Uh, That's what we got to do. <clears throat> and I got a t-shirt today. It came to the wrong address, but the, anyway it arrived. I'm not going to show it. But it was way too small for me, so I'm going to give it to a kid. So, that's what we're going to do. Come on. There you go. Is she gone? Yes, good. She's gone. This fellow's eating dry food. What are you doing eating dry food? Huh? What are you doing? Eating the dry food. Are you? Anyway, uh, bell tone hearing aid got a hold of me today, and I guess I'm getting new hearing aids. Uh, these new ones are rechargeable. There's no more batteries, so you know how you have it splits over your ears? It just fits right inside your ear. I'm deaf in one ear from uh, gunshots. And... Uh, I only got 10% this year, and I think I got 80 in the left. It's all work related, so. You want a hot dog? No, you don't want. He doesn't want. It. He wants the. He wants the dry food. 
Come on, Woody. What are you doing up there? Come here. She's not there. There you go. Take it. You got it? Good boy. Now he's at that end. I had one here earlier. Um, he, uh, I put hot dogs in that out for him, but no sir, I could not open that door. As long as I did, he was gone to the woods. So I'm getting a lot of wild ones. Where are you going? Where's he heading for? Huh. That startled me. Where is he going? <clears throat> I want to watch to see where he's going. Well, he's heading out the driveway. He's going over. To, oh, I know where he's heading. He's heading over to the farmer's barn. I got signs out there when they cross the road. I just hope that. No, I don't see him crossing the road. He's down the ditch. No, I don't see him crossing the road. Unless he's going up the guy's driveway. Because that's where, uh, that's where Blackie is over there in the big hay barn. And she got, uh, I think she got four of them over there. Four little ones. She didn't bring them over here yet. Huh. No, he didn't cross the road, so God knows where he's gone to. Huh? Oh, you're stealing. <laughs> where did you get the hot dog? Did you steal that? What? Oh, here comes Scooter. Here comes Scooter. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let's grab you back. Come on, Scooter. Come here. You still got all that hair hanging off you. Here. Scooter, you don't go over there. This is Woody the second, or Buddy the second. First time I've seen a raccoon go in that direction. Come here. Here. You don't want a hot dog. Well, what do you want? You want dry food. Huh? Here, Scooter. His hair's coming off. Hair's coming off. She wants the dry food, see? You want dry food too, don't you? Well, just a minute. I'll put some. I'll put enough up for both of you. All right. I'll put some up for both of you. Yeah. It's. Uh, it was in the 80s today, and it's what 70 right now. Cooled down. Here. I'm gonna put some dry food out. Here. You got enough there? Okay. We'll put some here. Under the bench. There. Look at this. Oh, look, look at the thief. Scooter. Scooter the thief. You got enough there, dear? Have you got enough? Alright. That's what she wants. She wants uh, the hard stuff. You like the hard stuff, don't you? Huh? Come here. 
What are you going to eat over there too? Scooter, here. I'm going to grab your backside. <laughs> Get some more of that hair. But he's losing, he's gradually losing it. Two or three days you won't see any of that heavy stuff on him. And she's, Krabby's losing some there too. I'm going to bring the camera over here. All right. Here. Who's down there? You got a hot dog anyway. <clears throat> Here. Here. There you go. That's crabby. <laughs> and there's Scooter. You want Scooter? Here. You want me to put that in the water? Or Go get it. It's in the water. Hey, hey, stop. You behave. He's not doing, not hurting you. No, he didn't get it. Oh, he's got one behind the, he's got one behind the gate anyway. <clears throat> There's the one with the four babies. Remember I told you she'll come alone? See? She's getting some nourishment before they come. Now, you had your own pile. Here, look. Come here. There you go. There's three piles of dog food here, and she's going to take all three of them. But she she woofed a big pile into her there. Did you find it? You got it. Good boy. You got it. You found your hot dog. Isn't that good? Huh? Nice clean fresh water. I had to dump them there last night. Come here Woody. Come on. You gonna stand up? Come on. Come get it. Come on. There you go. There. You're doing good buddy. <laughs> they love to steal from each other. <clears throat> what do you want another one? Here. Come on. Come on. There you go. He's getting tamer. Well, you want the dry food. All right. What? <laughs> he swapped me in the hand because I wouldn't let go of it. <laughs> He's going to wash it. Do you want one delivered? Do you want an extra one up there? Huh? He didn't even eat that other one yet. Oh, he's coming down. All right. And you don't want a hot dog. I'm going to throw yours in the water. Here, look. Go get it. Go get it. You got it? It's there. Keep feeling. There you go. You got it. <laughs> you found it, didn't you, Mr. Scooter?
You got a hot dog. Here, he didn't get one. See, they're getting put off the food. Huh? Yeah. That's Woody there. He's staying close, aren't you? Going to eat the dry food. He doesn't know what he wants. Here. <laughs> you get it? Did you get it? Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> and Sammy, he knows how to get his hot dog. See how sometimes the food goes in between the cracks? They dig that all out before morning. They don't leave a morsel. No. 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 No! Hey! Stop it! No. He's not bothering you. If you're not going to behave, you got to leave. Because you had enough to eat. More than enough. They like to fish for the hot dogs. Here, you go on home. Go on home. Go on. Get home. Get. Go on. You had enough. Go on home. Go on, Grabby. No. You go home. Ah, no. Go home. Get home. She knows she's in trouble. There, you go on home. You had enough to eat. <clears throat> Just watching to see if she's heading home yet. She's hanging around the step down there. What do you want? Where'd Scooter go? Underneath my chair. We're having a visitor come out here on Wednesday night. Uh, the author's going to be here, uh, Christine McKinnon, and um, one of the writers for the Picto Advocate, which is our local newspaper, There, he, he's coming out to see the raccoons. Enjoying that stuff, aren't you? Huh? Enjoying that? Yeah. We gotta make a we gotta make a, a food run out to uh, Upper Stewiak to to Heather's house. Now that the everything's opened up, I can get food out to her from Walmart. She lives in a little cottage in the woods, and uh, she has she has about. Uh, 20 raccoons, same as me. Yeah. She's the one that has the one that's blind that's 10 years old. So. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to call her a night here, and uh, I'll stay up, look for the babies, and we'll do a baby video. I don't know what time yet, but it's up to them. So, so we uh, thank you very much for, for tuning in. And who's under here? Here, I'm going to... Here you go, Scooter. Have a second one. Another one for you. An extra one for you. There. That'll do that. I'm going to bring the dry food in, too. Uh, all right. It's awful hot, hot on the cats. Okay. Now, lovely lady sent me this box. She paid a lot of money getting it up here. Kim Kovac. She lives in uh, Rio Rancho, New Mexico. So, <clears throat> there's, there's cat treats in here. Some cat treats in here. And it went out. There we go. With temptations <clears throat> and cookies for the uh, for the raccoon <clears throat> vanilla. Oh, that's that's great value. That's Walmart. Okay, family size. Well, thank you very much for that, uh, Kim. We sure appreciate it. And um, Mr. Sapak. Joe Sapak did this drawing, this painting. Isn't that beautiful? So that's going down in my, uh, and he's got it marked, buddy. And that's going down in my raccoon room. And thank you very much, Joe. Sure appreciate it. So, uh, might put some of them cookies out. Yeah, we'll do. We'll go with her cookies tonight. <clears throat> Alrighty. Well, thank you very much, everybody. And uh, we shall see you in the next video. Hopefully, the babies will be here. I imagine they will be. They'll be hungry. And I'm going to chop the hot dogs up small for them.